Hello, so today we are in the kitchen. I'm not cooking. I just want to show you what I will be eating today for lunch. So the plat du jour is dardra and a cabbage salad. Cabbage salad, it's the, it's the cabbage salad, salat malfouf. And um, dardra is a very traditional um, dish here in Lebanon and it's made with uh, lentils, lentils and rice together, they are mixed. And on the top we have the fried onions and it's very delicious, yummy yummy. So I will put it here and it will... Uh, okay. So I will, uh, I will show you about it. <clears throat> I will tell you that lentils means, uh, mean, lentils mean Adas, Adas, and rice means Riz. So Adas and Riz together they make Dardra, this dish. And fried onion mean uh, Basal, onion Basal, fried Mi'le, Mi'le, so Basal Mi'le on the top. And with it, uh, it's very delicious if you eat with it, uh, the pickles, a big pickle that you see. And this is it, the pickles. What is pickles in Arabic? It's uh, kabis, kabis. And what about the cabbage uh, salad? It's a regular cabbage salad, but always they go together. We eat nardra and salat malfouf, because malfouf means cabbage, chou in, uh, in French, and salad or salad means salata, salata. So salat malfouf, dardra and kabis. Actually, today I don't have a real lesson for you. I just want to show you this. And like I said the last time, I will uh, I will write for you two new letters. And today, the two new letters say goodbye to the to the plat du jour. Today's letter they are T and C. Last time we, we learned how to write Aleph, if you remember, had the, uh, this is the Hamze and B. So today we will learn how to write the T, and in Arabic it's very similar to the B, but we put T like this. This is the T, not like this, we put this and we have the T. And we will learn the Th, Th. What is Th? It's in English the TH, like thinking. And in the Arabic it's param. So it's for now we have three similar shapes but with different toppings. <laughs> okay, so I will tell you how to pronounce the th because it's in English, for example, you have swimming and you have thinking. So the th is th. It's like thinking, not swimming. So now I will give you um, little words using t first of all. So because we, you know by now how to write t and alif, I will give you this. How to read it? Who knows? I know. We read it. Teta, teta. It's like my grandmother, teta. We also say grandmother, teta. Uh, in the fusha, it's jadda, jadda, or jaddati, my grandmother. But in the um, Lebanese Arabic, it's teta. So this is teta. So see, see in the, <coughs> if the, mm, I will give you another word. When the t is in the end of the, okay, it's, Binet. Binet. See? What is Binet? It's a girl. Binet, girl. So now you know we write different kinds of T. First of the word and of the words. Different. Now with the th, th. Okay, I will use now a, a weird, uh, not a weird, but not very used word using the th because you know how to write it all. And it's 
ثبت ثبت what is ثبت it's stability stability okay so ثبت it's stability and I will tell you that ثبت is in فصحى in the Lebanese dialect it's not very different but it's ثبت because we don't uh, stress on the difference between th and s. It's sabit. But when you have to read a good Arabic, you don't say sabit. You say thabat. Okay? And uh, I will show you how to write it. You know how to write the th. Th. Oh, uh, no. Sorry. It's wrong. It's th. Bit. You know how to write the th, how to write the b, the alif, and the t. Thabit. Okay, stability. So, guys, this is my lesson for today. It's about mdardra, salatit manfu, and pickles, and some letters. I will write it uh, last, uh, last time. And it's t. Uh, ثي ألف ب uh, what did I do <laughs> sorry it's like this B so the alphabet uh, for now the Arabic alphabet it's ألف ب ت ث ث ش ث so we say ث and ث the T in Arabic is ta and the T is th. Don't mix the T with the S. The S is later on. Now it's the T. So goodbye. I will eat now my delicious dardra. And I'll see you soon. Good, goodbye.